Another day of 3D printing on the Bamboo Lab X1 Carbon. We decided to 3D print this interesting sculpture, but the print stopped halfway through. So we head to the lab to see what happened, and find the printer in a damaged state. The hot end face plate has fallen off. Clearly the nozzle is bent, and will need to be replaced. Start by disconnecting the three hot end cables. With those disconnected, move them to the side and use an Allen key to remove the two hot end screws. Remove the two hot end screws and set aside. Now just pull downward to dislodge. I forgot to retract the filament from the nozzle, but it's an easy fix with the built-in filament cutter. To swap out the nozzle, we will need the heating pad and thermistor from the bent nozzle. Start by removing the heat shield from the nozzle. Next we will use our Allen key to disconnect the fan from the nozzle. Set aside the fan and two screws, we will need them for the new nozzle. With the fan removed, we can see the cable channel on the nozzle. Carefully remove the clip holding the heating element on the nozzle. The thermistor cable held under this clip is quite delicate. With the clip removed, lift and set aside the heating element. Carefully remove the thermistor cable by pulling it out of the hole on the side of the nozzle. We have successfully uninstalled the bent nozzle, now we need to install a new one. The nozzle isn't in terrible condition, but next to the new one it shows obvious wear. For comparison, this is the last bent nozzle next to this one. Before we reassemble the nozzle, we need to add some of thermal grease provided with the new nozzle. Look for the side of the nozzle with a recessed ridge, this is where we apply the thermal grease and place the heating element. Remember to apply a bit of thermal grease to the thermistor hole as well. Insert the thermistor cable into the thermistor hole, and route the cable through the channel on the nozzle. Now place the heating element on the thermal grease. And route the heating element cable alongside the thermistor cable. Carefully slide the clip on the new nozzle. Make sure the thermistor cable is in the channel on the side of the clip, otherwise it may be damaged. Replace the nozzle heat cover. Finally, reattach the nozzle fan with the two fan screws. Now that we have our complete hot end assembly, we will reassemble the print head using the reverse of the disassembly process. First, slide the hot end into its position. And then route the cables through the built-in cable slot. Grab your Allen key and the two hot end screws to reattach the hot end assembly. Plug in the three hot end cables, each cable fits only one connector. Finally, grab the print head face plate and reconnect the face plate cable. Reattach the face plate to the print head's magnetic pegs. With the new nozzle installed, let's do a test print. Success! Back to printing. 